Hey guys, thanks for stopping in for another video. Today we're going to be playing some RimWorld. I've kind of had a horrible itch to play this recently, so I figured I'd do a little video on it. We're going to start with completely random characters. I actually did go through and set up like a whole ideologian pretty much based around a dominant space cult who is under the influence of the Lovecraftian god Yogg-Sothoth. So let's jump right in. We're going to roll with... Uh, we're going to roll with, let's see, Fleeb Tyronian, the mad accountant, Artemis Abel, the livestock farmer, and Sprocket Von Nap Napier, the colony settler. Let's see if these guys can make it out in space. The three of you awaken your crypto sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. I am in no way a RimWorld professional. I've got about 30 hours in this game, so feel free to tell me how garbage I am down in the comments. So let's see here. I don't know exactly where to start. I'm gonna pause the game and mark all of this stuff for pickup. Of course, I gotta have some place to actually pick them up at and take them to. Hopefully these guys will, like, equip all of these guns and all this armor and stuff. Didn't really get a good look at the map here, so let's see. I don't know where we want to base up at. What the hell are those? Ghost elephants? Oh, no, they're just regular elephants. Okay. See, generally, I like to base up, like, in the side of a mountain. Just because I feel like I have to build less walls that way. Um, let's see here. Oh, there's some like weird crypts and stuff over here. Clay brick grand Stella. I don't even know what that is. A steel, a Stella. I mean, I think here in the States, we just call those like statues or mausoleum or monuments or something. I don't know what those are supposed to be. Clay brick urn. That's a turkey there. Uh, that looks like a structure of some sort. I think we're going to probably build into this wall here. There's some compacted machinery, I think. Yeah, it'll be nice to grab that right off the bat. So let's see. Let's mark. Oh, man. Yeah. Okay, it's been a while, guys. Give me a second to relearn this. We're going to want to mine this out and this right here. Make a little entryway. Uh, maybe just mine those two out. We'll have our entryway start right here. Have a little corridor. Get some branching rooms here. So let's get the. Uh, let's get a little four by four built right there, just for starters. A little room to put our our facilities in for now. We're gonna need some kind of storage. So let's make this a storeroom here. All right, let's set them loose. Uh, we're going to bop the time up to three times. Yeah, I'd like them to equip that stuff. Although, I think if I, if I mine everything out... And then if I set a space for them to actually store things, they'll, they'll start picking that stuff up and moving it. Now, what can I build? I think right off the bat, it would be nice to have some kind of power. What's it take for a wind turbine? 100 steel and two components. Okay, so we're, we're, a, little, we're a little ways out before we can start building that stuff. Although, hey, what's that? A car? Ancient car frame. That's kind of cool. That's some steel there. I've got it marked for pickup. What is this stuff? Mechanoid slag chunk. That's a ship chunk there. We're gonna hit uh we're gonna hit deconstruct on that. Okay, so I'm pretty sure if I do oh let's see, haul things. I can haul that stuff. We'll just haul all that stuff right there too. What's this here? 
ancient macro engine block i feel like that is probably worth deconstructing as well okay let's um while we're while we're at it let's clear out some of this shrubbery in these trees Ah, uh, that, that's a berry bush right there. I don't want to knock that down just yet. Let's clear that out, and we will harvest whatever we can here. It's like just those berries. And where is the, uh, how do we remove the trees? Oh, chop wood. Okay. And we will chop this wood down. Real quick, uh, who is good at what? So he's not a very good sh at shooting. He's pretty good at shooting. How about Artemis? Artemis is better at melee. So you are going to equip that bolt action rifle. Let's get it off the ground here real quick. Who's better at shooting with the Sidearm. Okay, so Artemis is good at melee. Sprox is good at nothing. So we'll just have him equip the revolver here. And her, we'll have her grab this uh this plasteel knife. I feel like he is oh he's gonna be a ways away from any kind of uh any kind of like battle. So let's force her to wear the actual uh, armor here, since she's going to be the one, like, up front. Oh, hey, what is that? Black vest? Why is she not wearing that? Wear that black vest, too. Okay. We're good. Let's undraft him. Let these guys get to work. So Artemis found a nice little cozy place to just chill out. All right, I don't have her drafted. Good. Let's see. Ancient generator there. Some marble walls, doors. Yeah, the sooner we can get this cleared out, the better. I think there is a... Oh, okay, I think I have to, to set this as the home area for them to start cleaning it, right? Let's just make this whole thing. No, 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 no. Hold up, hold up. If I make that whole thing our home area, then they're going to start, like, sweeping outside and stuff. I don't want them to do that. Just waste a lot of time. Sorry. We'll expand our home area here. And I think we need to build roofs. I never know, but just in case... All right, there we go. Yeah, that's plenty of room for store. Oh, uh, I think I might actually need a little more storage space here. Hunter lacks suitable weapon, Artemis. Artemis, you can't chase people down with a knife? You got this, girl. I believe in you. Uh, yeah, allow. Oh, wait, no, no, no. We want to allow that. Okay, all that stuff's allowed. They just... They're busy. They're busy working on other shit right now. Mm -mm. We got a dog? Pepe. What's up, Pepe? We can't slaughter Pepe. Not yet, anyways. We're not desperate enough. Okay. So, while they are working, let's see what else we got around the map. Little hover car there. What is that? An ancient small crate. Oh, shit. Okay, ancient security turrets. I don't think those are active. If they're ancient, they're probably defunct by now. Elephants aren't too bad. I don't think they're very aggressive. I don't think a turkey's aggressive. Usually, they're like a bunch... Okay, those rhinos may be a problem at some point. I know usually there's like boomalopes and stuff. Sometimes they'll attack, sometimes they won't. What is this? The anima tree. Okay. That's kind of neat. Let's allow that steel to be picked up. And we'll, uh, we will choose to haul that stuff. 
Must to designate hollable items. Oh, okay. Those aren't hollable items. I'm still learning. All right. Looks like progress on the base is coming. All right. Safe measure. Let's put up a door. I think under structure. What do we have? We don't really have anything yet. Still got to set up our storage space here. So let us... I'll wait for them to clear this wall out. Hmm. Let's see here. I might extend this just a little bit further. Maybe not. Yeah, let's extend this a little bit further this way and this way. Everybody's already like, uh, they got like heat stroke and stuff. Yeah, I bet she's a little warm in that in that get up there. All right, just keep it coming, guys. Keep it coming. You're doing great. But yeah, I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure I can haul these things. They're already marked for hauling. I'm, I think though. We have visitors already from the kinship of Aben Abonbury. Where are these guys at? Are they cool? Do they have stuff to trade? I don't know how you do that. Let's uh, hit this real quick. Let's take a fleeb to trade. Oh, we don't even have any money right now. Never mind, fleeb. Do your thing. Never mind. Okay, they sell pemmican, components, herbal medicine, beer, a pila. Oh, that's... Wait, is this our stuff or their stuff? The trader's not willing to buy our dog. I don't blame him, I guess. Kind of want to take down that compacted machinery there. We're going to do that. Can't really pass that stuff up. Okay. Now let us continue our roof area here and here. Just everywhere, I guess, really. Okay, there we go. Maybe a little bit right there. I'm not really sure how that works as far as like being like right on the edge. Okay, now we have no defenses. We have low food, low medicine. We do have enough space for this first storage area, though. So let us extend this to here. And for the time being, we'll just store everything here. No biggie. You might actually want to make this even bigger okay this has got to be enough storage for now right now furniture we don't have oh yeah we've got plenty of wood okay so let us make a cup a few beds we we might want to just like make uh, individual bedrooms right off the bat. I know that people usually get upset if they don't have their own bedroom. And let's see how this works. Actually, we might, uh, we might just mine out this grip right here. And we'll turn all of these into bedrooms. The match and chilla. Oh, shit. Okay. That's, that's not, that's not good. We're gonna drop this dude. Oh, okay. Now we got it. Never mind. Undraft. Do your thing, buddy. She, she got that chinchilla. Lee, you okay, buddy? They're working awfully slow. Why are they working so slow? That was strange. Okay. That chinchilla. I mean, I would say we, we could cook that up and eat it, but we don't have the facilities to do that right now. 
let's expand our roof zone even further this way. That's our home area. Okay. Oh, it's looking good for now. Okay, Fleeb is back on his feet. He's doing all right. Okay, yes. We are done with Imagine Chilla. Now, let's see. What else is there? So we've got tons of like steel and stuff that we can scavenge. I think these are, yeah, sarcophaguses. Sarcophagi. A flash storm already, bro? I guess it's oh shit uh you guys might want to do something about that can you can i send them to fight fire oh my god uh uh that's fine it's all fine i'm going to extend the home area out just so that fire gets fought if it gets too close to our, our spot here really hoping they uh get to this stuff in time before it's ruined i don't know if it does get ruined does it okay it doesn't look like it does what about this over here no it doesn't look like it so yes i don't believe these guys will do anything about that fire until it gets too close to our home oh my god the entire map already what the hell uh, oh man, there's a lot going on already. Jesus. Okay, so let's see. Since it looks like we'll be here for a while, Artemis thinks that you should give your faction a name. What should you call? What should your faction be called? Uh, we're gonna call it the Esoteric Order of Yogg-Sothoth. And we're gonna call this settlement Carcosa, keeping it in line with uh with the Lovecraft stuff. Okay, now with that said, uh everything's fucking burning down. Dude, the entire map. Oh my god, that got out of hand really fast. I really hope it rains soon. I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> oh god. Can I draft these guys to fight? I mean, would, would it even matter if I fought the fire right now? Can I harvest this? Okay, so these like stumps still have stuff left. Like, okay, that, that engine was completely destroyed. I really hope it rains soon. Like, really, really, really bad. Otherwise, this is just gonna... Sp uh... Uh... Okay, yeah, this is this is actually kind of a big problem. Okay, let's expand this out. I think maybe once it gets to these walls, though, it'll like stop for the most part. Let's um, let's expand this just a little bit further. We we just got to keep this area safe here, so it doesn't get inside our our uh, base here. Is it raining? Oh, thank God. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. That uh, pretty much burned up the entire map. Or pretty damn big portion of it. Wow. How's the animus tree doing? Fine. Okay, cool. I don't know if the fire can actually do anything to the anima tree. It doesn't look like it can. Okay. Still working on those walls. I'm glad we didn't lose our dog in the fire. That would have kind of sucked. So, with what we do have, we have, I think, enough to build our first windmill. Yes, we do. We sure do. Okay. So, I'm thinking... Best spot's probably gonna be right here for now. 
Then we're gonna have to clear that wood up there. So let's just chop all the wood in this area. That way we don't have anything messing with the, the turbine here. We might actually want to throw a second turbine down if we've got the, the components for it. Let's just cut all of these plants and get rid of all this wood here. And in the process, we are going to need to put a cooler in here. So we want, how does this work? I want the cold spot to be there. So let's knock down that wall real quick here. Oh, mine it. We'll put that, we'll put it right there. Throw the cooler here. Then we're gonna need to run power currents. Probably better to run a waterproof conduit. We might wanna put a battery out too. Can we build one of those yet? Nah, it looks like we might need, uh, ooh, ideology. Cool. We build a bunch of cool stuff. A gibbet cage. Nice. All right. Let's see here. Oh yeah. All this industry stuff. I forgot to mention that I did. In fact, uh, I I've gotten, I've got a bunch of mods installed from previous playthroughs. So this isn't exactly vanilla. Okay, let's run a conduit from here to here, if that's possible. Yes, it is. Not getting a whole lot of wind right now. That's okay, though. Let's see, if we built a second turbine, though, that might help us here in the very near future, since we can't build a battery just yet. I'm not sure if these link up automatically. We'll find out here in a sec after they've finished building this other turbine. Then let's set the cooler in here down. Uh, we'll just set it well below freezing. Let's put a door up as well. Is that under structure, I think? Yeah. We'll just, we'll put a wood door in here. Right on top of, why is that like starting to stink or something? Can we get this thing out of here? It's rotting. Let's expand this zone out so we can store more stuff. All right. Um. We've got all of this cleared out now. So what we could do is mine. Oh, yeah, let's mine these walls right here. We're going to turn those into wooden walls and then create bedrooms for everybody. We've got a little bit of wood to spare, too. So let's put down maybe some wood floors. I'm not sure where the floors are. Oh, here we go. Floors. Yeah, let's do some wood floors. Those will look nice. We'll just do it throughout the base here. That's going to be, I feel like, a pretty good chunk of our wood right now. Wait for them to knock these walls down. And, ooh, 
I actually like that wood floor a little bit more than this wood floor. I should have gone with that. That's all right, though. No bother. Now, let's put up maybe this wood wall here. Damn it. All right, yeah, I'm going to wait till they finish this so I can throw these wood floors down. This is starting to look like a like a real place, like a real base. A real a real place for the base. Okay. Now, floor or er, walls. Get these wooden walls up. Whose turtle is that? So that'll be somebody's room right there. So we'll build that big. Uh, somebody's getting stiffed. These dimensions are a little off. That's all right, though. Throw some doors down right there. Shit, did I put the walls? I did put walls. Ah, that was an accident. Okay. Deconstruct. Deconstruct. And deconstruct. We'll put the doors there instead, like we were intending on doing in the first place. All right, let's see how that works out. And let us throw a couple more beds down. Otherwise, people are going to start getting kind of salty pretty quick here. Extreme break risk. Sprox is losing his mind. Hey, we got a tortoise. Tortoise self-tamed. Quest available. The solitary praetor. Aurelius Apokos, a praetor of the Broken Dominion, is calling from nearby. His guards were killed in an ambush. He escaped, but is now being followed by a man-hunting monkey. Apocos wants you to keep him safe at Carcosa for a few hours until the shuttle can come pick him up. He will bestow eight honor on whoever accepts this quest. This is enough honor to receive the royal title of Yaoman and all benefits that come with it, including the first level of psychic powers. We just got to protect the dude from a manhunting monkey? Let's do it. Oh, um. Uh. Gleeb, I guess. Okay. So we got our homie. We just got to take care of him for eight hours. Whoa, what's going on here? Man hunting monkey. The monkey which is following Aurelius of Pocus has arrived, dude. Okay. Let's see this thing. That? That's it? All right, boys. All right, Sprox is about to lose his mind. Where is the other dude at? No matter. No matter. We're getting all, we're getting all ready to fight this monkey here. Where's it at? Focus, run! Damn, we're actually gonna have to like go out and, and attack that thing. Is that a capybara? Yes, it is. Is that a jaguar? A panther? Yeah, okay. want to steer clear of that thing. I feel like that would probably become hostile towards us if we got close enough. Focus, fight back! Ancient danger. We don't want to fuck with that. Where's the ancient danger? Probably in these walls here behind this compacted machinery. Most likely like a mechanoid or something. All right. We're getting close to him. We're getting close to him. Kill the monkey, bro. Kill the monkey. Come on. Pocos isn't going to make it. Ooh. All right. Artemis just get shot? No, okay. Just got hit by the monkey teeth. Okay, let's undraft these guys. Everybody's safe now. I feel like we can eat that monkey. We ought to build a kitchen. So let us mine out another area for the kitchen here. So like that would probably be big enough for a kitchen. Um, we might want to extend that a little bit further since it like breaks into the corridor here. So how do I cancel construction? Like this? Okay. 
I want to keep walls up in between all of our rooms here. Looks like we're going to be running out of storage space before too long. Okay, so we've got a Pocos. We've got that self-tamed tortoise, ancient danger, crisis of belief. Sprox's spirit is broken. As a result, he was forced to question everything. Sprox's certainty with his belief in the cult of Yogg-Sothoth has been reduced to 50%. Sprox is now wandering in shock while grappling with his beliefs, dude. What a punk. Oh, the shuttle has already arrived to, to get a Pothos or a Pocos. Okay. Is he going to it? A oh, Pocos, get in the shuttle, bro. All right, there we go. So we have completed that quest. Fleb has received the title of... Fleb received the title of Freeholder from the Broken Dominion. The title of Freeholder cannot be inherited. If he dies, no one will inherit this title. All right. What is the ceremony about? The Broken Dominion is ready to grant Fleb the title of Yao Min and the power of a level one side link in a bestowing ceremony. The restorer will arrive by shuttle and perform the ceremony. The bestower will only give a title if any throne room requirements are satisfied. There's a chance of gaining extra honor depending on how many viewers attend the ceremony. Additionally, every viewer gains a mood bonus. You can betray the bestower to steal silent neuro performers, but this will make the Broken Dominion your enemy. If you miss or fail the ceremony, there will be another opportunity later. If the bestower or guards are harmed for any reason, there will be diplomatic consequences. We'll get a new silent level and the Yaman title. Let's do it. Why not? Let us do it. So they're going to come. Oh, shit. Okay. Yep. Everybody wake up. Everybody wake up. Jaw drafted. Hey, guys. What's up? Select the tool and click begin bestowing ceremony to commence the ceremony. Let's get, uh, let's get Sprox here first. We need, we need Sprox too. We need Sprox too. Sprox is, whatever Sprox. Okay, we don't need Sprox, fuck Sprox. Let's begin the ceremony. Uh, drag and drop or left click to move people. Let's, uh, let's just do it. We're gonna have it in this hallway? Okay. I don't know why Sprox couldn't be happy for his friend. Fucking man. I'm really regretting bringing Sprox along on, on this uh, journey into the cosmos. All right, let's speed this up a little bit, Artemis. I've got uh, buildings and stuff that I need to make. All right, Yao Min for Fleeb. To use psychic powers, Fleeb must build up psych focus through meditation. The effectiveness of this meditation is increased if the person can focus on a specific object while meditating. Different people are able to focus on different objects. Okay. Psychasters with royal titles meditate on their thrones. Psychasters with tri tribal childhoods meditate to anima trees and nature shrines. Ascetic psychasters meditate to blank walls. Psychopathic psychasters meditate to graves, ideally with a loved one inside. That's crazy. You can see someone's meditation focus types by looking at their info card with the I button. Okay. Um, he received no extra honor since there weren't very many spectators. That's okay. Let's check out his, um, what kind of meditation does he need? Where would I find that at? Meditation focus, dignified, artistic. Okay. So what is his? Dignified and artistic. Dignified focus objects. Meditation throne and grand meditation throne. Artistic focus has childhood. Does not have trait. Ascetic. Artistic focus objects. Sculptures. Stellas. A bonsai pot. Some statues. Okay. Cool. So we can get... He can get like psychic powers and shit now, I think. Oh, ooh, that scared me. All right, this is all cooled down, I'm pretty sure. 
How can I tell what the temperature is? Indoors, 49 degrees. This needs to work a little bit harder. Let's uh, drop that down to negative. Eh, maybe. No, I don't know. Negative 76. I think we need a vent too, don't we? Why is this not... I don't know which way this works. Stuff in here is not exactly frozen, so I think it'll be degrading, won't it? Not... Okay, not necessarily. This thing needs to get moved. I think everybody's kind of bummed out that that's sitting in there. Days is wandering around a psychotic state. This has happened because of her poor mood. The final straw was starved. Oh, shit. We do not have any food at all. We've already eaten all of our rations and stuff. I need to figure something out here. Wow. Okay. My bad. So let's, um, let's order some people to do some harvesting. That berry bush there. Let's just, uh, whatever we can harvest around this giant area. Let's do it. I was not thinking about that. You know, like the most important thing that a uh, colony needs is food. So, I know we can hunt some things. Let's find some things that are pretty easy to hunt. That capybara. Oh, that panther's dead. Let's uh, we'll grab that too. Uh, we'll get that tortoise. So I'm pretty sure that we can. I think we'd have to have a butcher table actually to be able to cut up these animal carcasses. So let's see. Allow rotten. Allow fresh. Corpses of animals. Yes, let's allow animal corpses in there. Then we need... What else do we need right this second? I kind of wish I would have done the layout better for this. I don't like the fact that their rooms are right there. But we're going to have to deal with it. So let's mine out. That wall will stay there. Let's mine out this little patch right here. How can I, how can I do this without making it like, we might end up having to build some walls and stuff on the exterior. All right, we'll do that for now. Hopefully somebody gets in there and starts mining. Okay. We're going to need to put up like a research bench and like all kinds of stuff. So let's put another corridor there. Let's we'll keep bringing this down. Build a little room right here. I'm not sure what for yet. Okay, so are these rotting? Dead for less than a day. Refrigerated. Spoils in, I don't know, quite a few days. Okay, let's, uh... It's still only getting to about 37 degrees. I don't know why that is. Oh, Gleeb's throwing a tantrum. He is badly malnourished. Guys, I am working on it, I swear. Okay. Now that we've got... Now that we've got this room kind of started, let us build something that we can cook food with. We can do an electric stove. Although that's going to rely on having power, which might not be a good idea. Let's do the fueled stove for now. Not sure which way that 
Okay, got the little chair there. The old stove will have work speed penalty outdoors. It's not outdoors though. Oh, is it because I um do not have a roof overhead? No, that's not the reason. I'm not 100% what the reason is. Why is it outdoors? Is it because there's like no floor, like no true floor? Okay, what kind of floors can we put down? It's like we can only really do more wood floors, so let's uh let's do this dark wood floor here. That looks kind of nice. What the fuck is Fleeb doing? He's like freaking the he's freaking out. Why are you breaking shit, bro? You motherfucker. Are you serious right now? Fleeb, chill the fuck out. You're not helping. You're not helping at all. You want food? Oh my god. Dude, Fleeb is messing our shit up. Well, they at least well they do repairs and stuff. <laughs> well, they repair things. Or am I gonna have to rebuild that stuff? God damn it, Fleeb. A little fucking baby throwing a fit. Okay, that looks nice. Okay. So some bills. Let's just cook uh cook some simple meals. Times 40. Let's do that uh fucking 10 times. I don't know. I don't know which one of these is really like I don't really exactly get this, so I'm just gonna set a bunch of meals up to be made. Okay, that costs cooking six. These are just okay. Those should be those should be good enough for now. Yeah, yep. Toggle toggle automatic refuel. I think we should be able to build a butcher shop too. Butcher's table. Okay, we're going to wait for this area to get cleared out. We'll just keep the butcher table and the fuel stove in the same spot here. Let us build a chair for whoever is working there. Rotate it so it lines up. Perfect. Okay, looks like that got repaired. Everything got repaired except for that door that he completely destroyed. So that's cool. Kind of a pain in the ass. It's not cool they did that, but it's cool they got repaired. All right, we are going to need to research a battery ASAP. So whichever one of these rooms, either this one or something up here. Uh-oh, Sprox is starving. He's going to start throwing a fucking fit. Why, why is nobody getting the berries? Harvest those damn berries. Is it because I've got like too many things going on? Let's just harvest this whole this whole map, dude. Let's just harvest everything on the map. Yep. All the berries everywhere. Okay, for a second I thought it was harvesting those rhinos. I don't really want to touch those at all. Try some berries up, up here somewhere. Harvest those. All right. That should set us up for the most part. I don't really need to haul those things right now, but if they do it, they'll do it. Okay. Now, we can build a butcher table. Let's do a wood one. Let's do 
let's do furniture another wood dining chair right here and then we will finish up building floors let's keep them the same here all right Where are our wooden doors? Can I like turn this? I can't rotate that. I think it'll just fit right in the way it should though. I don't really have enough power for lights. Although, are we able to get lights a different way? Damn, we got 800 bucks. Nice. Okay, so let's see. Structure, furniture. Okay, so we can get some wall torches. People need light to move and work at full speed. Can be automatically refueled with wood. I think these need power. A brazier would be kind of cool. I don't really have enough, like, room in, the, in these ways to... I can put some torches on the wall, though. Let's do that for now. Artemis is going to bed. Dude, she's moving so slow. Okay. So we've got a caravan here. I don't think that we really can buy anything worthwhile. We don't have a lot of money. Jesus, they brought the entire tribe. Hey, guys. Okay, so that's spinning. Is that producing, though? It's, is it connected to the... I'm pretty sure it's connected to the line here. Let's double check just to make sure, though. Yep, it's connected. And yeah, we've got a wall torch. Got a little bit of light in here now. So he's going to knock that down. Then we're going to need to throw up another wall to replace it. Butcher table. Let's butcher some animals. Let's do it forever. Butcher animals forever. I feel like I'll probably need some light in here to help them work better. So let's throw that up. All right. Yeah, I think that should increase their working speed now. Okay. We're going to fill that in with a wood wall. Awesome. I, I was wondering if he could work at it from an angle. I hope he doesn't have to go all the way around. Perfect. And yeah, everything is going pretty well. I am going to have to build some recreational facilities just so these guys chill. I might make this like a little common room for now. We can always move stuff and break it down later. from a, a bonbury oh shit where'd that go where's that gift from a bonbury at are they bringing it in right now where's it at i don't know where he left it is there a way to go back through like a log or Maybe quests? No. I don't know how to go back through a log. What's this? History. Messages. Oh, okay. Components three. Okay, I wonder if we yeah, they're just components. We're not if we lose those, it's not too big of a deal.
All right. What do we have for recreation? We don't have any cloth. We can build a chest table and some horseshoes, I guess. So uh, throw some horseshoes right there. Why not? Throw a little chest table. Chest table right here. Throw some chairs down. Medical emergency. Okay, what can we do about that? Shit, we're gonna need to build a hospital bed and all that stuff too. I don't really know if any of my guys know anything about medicine. Okay, so let's see, Artemis. Artemis is kind of our our uh, our rock here, really. Uh, let's see your info. Where is her, like, actual uh, stats and skills? There we go. Bio. Her medical is not great. What about Sprox? Sprox is much, much better. Okay, I can't really treat him, so never mind. I didn't mean to wake you up, Sprox. I'm so sorry. Did Sprox die? Uh, Artemis, dude, you gotta you gotta help Sprox up, bro. Okay, let's turn his bed into a hospital bed for now. And Artemis, grab him. And also pick up his gun too. Wait, did she go down too? Everybody's just going unconscious. Who's the man in black? Who's the man in black, dude? Sensing trouble, a mysterious man in black has arrived. Will he be able to set things right in these parts? What? Cargo pods. Oh, shit. That's huge. Uh, is the man in black going to, like, save my colony right now? I think I overworked him too early. N no, he's just going to build us a table. I mean, that's cool. I appreciate that, too. Uh, yo, man in black, can you, um, like, do something else? Oh, I can draft him? All right, rescue Artemis, bro. Okay, this is all of a sudden a medical bed for the time being. Okay, she's unconscious. He's unconscious. Can't really have him treat them for now. So uh, I guess this dude's just doing work for me. Void Requiem opportunity for Fleeb. To begin the ritual, select a grave containing Fleeb's corpse. Fleeb's dead? What is happening? What is happening to all my people? You starved to death, dude. This might be a this might be an early game over. Jesus. Okay. Um We are gonna need to build a grave then. I feel like a sarcophagus would be a little bit cooler. Can't really afford a sarcophagus right now though. Let's put the graveyard down here. I don't know what that the green zone means. Oh, it's a good thing apparently. Okay. Let's uh, just put that right there, I guess. I'm really hoping Artemis and Sprox do not go down right now. Extract the skull from his corpse, bro? Fuck it, why not? Dude, who is this mysterious stranger that showed up? Okay. 
Uh, we're gonna draft you. Oh, okay. No, let's assign a colonist. That is Fleebs. We're gonna draft you to uh, not consume Fleeb. What is Golden doing? No, everybody's dying because of malnutrition. I got everybody killed. Artemis is next. <laughs> Dude, okay, so this guy just comes in. Oh God, okay. I guess let's strip all of her stuff off. Let's strip all of his stuff off. We're gonna have to build three graves. I really lost my like entire camp like right now. What's he being attacked by? I guess we have to put down the dog. Uh, this this kind of went in a direction I was not expecting it to go in. I'm really hoping Golden uh, survives, though. What is all this shit right here? Golden is really hurt, really bad. He needs to treat himself, like, quick. Not the turtle too. Is he crawling? Okay, hopefully Golden can uh, survive this. Harmony commune rich. All right, we're not gonna be able to do any of that stuff right now. Primary ideologian has changed since all of my guys have died. Wow, okay. Pepe has become a manhunter. This happened because of Artemis' death. Oh, they had a bond, dude. The Void Whisperer role is no longer active. This role will become available once... Dude, I can't believe they, they changed religions. Oh, my God. Okay. Is that dog dead, finally? Oh, I'm really hoping Golden can pull through this. He's unconscious, laying in a game over. All right, guys. Well, uh, I, that is how you fail a run in RimWorld immediately. Okay, I'm going to do another one. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.